All right, it's about 4.52 in the morning. I'm here picking up uh, a couple guys. We're gonna head out to Green Bay. Very first time doing some uh, ice fishing out there for a whitefish, so uh, I'm pretty excited, really pumped up for today. And uh, we'll see how today pans out. It's gonna be in the high 40s, possibly low 50s. Heard the ice fishing out there has been pretty hot lately, so we're gonna head out, see if we can limit out some whitefish. So stick around, and uh, we'll see how today pans out. Lose it, Jack. <laughs> Try not to. Six pound, a two pound test. I can't afford to lose it. Yeah, that's true too, though. That's a nice guy. You hit the slider rig. No. Yeah, I, I, I slowed it down, and I was just kind of just jiggling, just yeah. giving them enough time to kind of look at it. First fish, yeah, first that, white fish. Like, like once you look at it, like you got, like you got jig it like right in front of them. Yeah. Like, yeah, if, like they start going away, like you jig up again, so like you just start, just start. Fire over here, dude. I'm gonna get the deucer out. This guy feels better. No, I got it. I just had to get the the transducer out. Second one. Second fish. Adam, I, I nipped them right on. I felt them for like a second. Got him that time. I should throw this one back. Uh, that's up to you. That's too small. Yeah, I'm gonna let 
let this guy go. Bigger guy. Want the bigger guys. Throw these small ones back. Oh, there, there you go, go. Jack. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. <laughs> those are the big guys I want, not those little dinky ones. Starting to catch up. This is a keeper. These guys are just like barely pecking on them. I feel good. Yeah, this guy feels good.
Nice whitefish. Yeah. Getting better. They're a lot better than those little dinky ones I was catching earlier today. This guy hit. I didn't even see him come on the screen. Better guy, hopefully he doesn't come off. Oh, he hit the spoon, that's why. I hit the spoon. This guy came off and hit the spoon. to take a few minutes to cover uh, the equipment and technique that I'm using to catch these whitefish. Uh, for rods and reel what I'm using is I'm using a 38 inch light action. Uh, this is the 13 fishing tickle stick and I have this paired up with a 13 fishing black betty. This is the new uh, free fall that has that that finger uh, trigger stick here to disengage the spool. The, the one thing I like about this combination is that it's got this really long rod uh, that's able to let you play that fish from that deep water. It's got a really solid backbone uh, that can drive that hook uh, into the fish's mouth and it's got this really light, uh, bright fluorescent uh, green tip. It does an excellent job of uh, you know letting you know when you get those really subtle strikes. The rig here is uh, your traditional, you know, slider rig. Uh, all I have is a number three gold Swedish pimple uh, with a wax worm, uh, about a foot of uh, six pound floral cast as uh, my leader here. And then I have a swivel and then a small red octopus hook tipped with one or two uh, wax worm. Uh, the main line that I'm using is two pound ice line. So really light setup. And basically what I'm doing is I'm dropping this all the way down my hole, all the way down to about 33 feet of water. And I'm, all I'm doing is I'm just pounding the bottom with this uh, Swedish pimple to create that commotion. And basically what the, the whitefish is doing is that um, they key in on the bottom, you know, searching for gold bees and blood worms and things like that. So whenever you're you're creating that commotion, you're causing that uh, cloud of dust down there. It attracts them. It brings them in. And basically, they're not really hitting on this. They're actually going to be keying in on that single slider hook that you have about a foot off the bottom. I'm keeping my line tight so that I'm feeling and I'm making contact with the bottom with the Swedish pimple and on my sonar I can still see my slider hook and wax worm about a foot off uh, the bottom and basically what the uh, the white fish is doing is they're coming right up to where all that commotion's at and then they're looking right up to where uh, that hook is and 99% of my uh, fish and strikes that I've been getting today have been coming off of this little hook. I had one fish that was aggressive enough to chase down and smack the spoon but um, overall I would say a very good portion of your strikes is going to be coming off of this little slider hook. Uh, you can substitute um, you know uh, what you would like to bounce off the bottom. Some guys are bouncing uh, you know these jigging wraps, other guys are bouncing spoons. That's basically it. This is all that I'm using for today. Uh, nothing special. 
Um, I've seen guys out here with smaller, you know, 23 inch uh, ultra light rods and they're, they're catching fish too. So this is not the setup that you have to go with. This is just what I prefer to use when I'm out here and it's been working fantastic for me. So let's get back into uh, uh, some fishing here. What about all that light penetrating through? Ninth one, one more to go. See this hole right here, produces small fish. Right here, got my limit. Might be a small guy. Oh, I think it's a small guy. Uh, it fights like a small one. Yeah, small. Yeah, look at that, this hole produces little babies. I know, like I call it maybe like six seven these little guys like these little tiny guys just let them go so if i don't lose it yeah we could we could grab it i i don't want to Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh. Dude, we all like live out all at once. All right. all right, my 10th fish. 10. All right, guys, so this basically concludes our trip out here to uh, Sturgeon Bay. Uh, for white fishing my very first trip out here and it has been amazing action wasn't quite as fast as uh, what some of the guys were talking about but we all were able to limit out we all had um, our 10 so we're going home with 30 uh, white fish today and me I, I ran into quite a few of the, the smaller ones uh, the two guys that I was with they, ne they never caught a small one I caught like maybe oh like seven eight smaller ones but I was able to manage to get ten big ones too so I probably had the most action uh, which was fine with me my first time up here in Sturgeon Bay so it's definitely gorgeous out here we gotta head home we have a long trip home about a two and a half hour drive back home like always guys thanks for watching if you like what you saw please like and subscribe we'll see you next time